list of Haitian personalities sanctioned to date by the Canadian government. The Canadian government continues to sanction Haitian actors for their bad deeds in Haiti. To date, over 30 people have been sanctioned by the Canadian government. They include Andrea Paid, businessman Arnel Belazaire, former congressman Berto Dorse, former minister Carl Braun, businessman Charles St. Remy, businessman Gary Baudot, former congressman Gilbert Biggio, businessman Gracia Delva, former senator and deputy Hervé Forcand, former senator Jean-Marie Vorb, businessman Jean-Henry Seant, former prime minister Jimmy Cherizier aka BBQ, gang leader Jocelyn Prevert, former president of the republic Johnson Andre aka ISO 5 Second, gang leader Joseph Lambert, former senator Joseph Wilson aka Lenko Sanju, gang leader Laurent Salvador Lamotte, former prime minister List Cattell, former minister Mark Antoine Acre, businessman Michel Joseph Martelli, former president of the republic Nenel Cassie, former senator Profane Victor, former congressman Reynold Deeb, businessman Ronnie Celestin, former senator Salim Sukar, businessman Sharif Abdullah, businessman Steve Colley, businessman Vitalum Innocent, gang leader Yuri Latortu, former senator The grounds for sanctions vary from destabilization, financing of armed gangs, and illicit drug trafficking, among others. These sanctions were adopted in accordance with Resolution 2653 adopted by the United Nations on October 21, 2022. This resolution, adopted under Chapter 7 of the United Nations Charter, establishes a comprehensive sanctions regime targeting individuals and entities responsible for acts that threaten the peace, security, and stability of Haiti. Under the resolution adopted on October 21, 2022, the Security Council provides for a series of targeted measures, including an arms embargo, travel bans, and asset freezes. These measures are aimed at individuals and entities designated as responsible for or complicit in activities that destabilize Haiti. The resolution also established a committee within the Security Council to oversee the implementation and monitoring of these sanctions. A file containing details of each sanctioned individual is posted on the Canadian government website. HTTPS colon slash slash gazette dot gc dot ca slash rp dash pr slash p2 slash 2023 slash 2023 dash 10 dash 11 slash html slash sword dash doors 192 dash and dot html. Currently, the most notable individual on the sanctions list is Jimmy Cherizier, also known as Barbecue, who heads the G9 Gang Alliance. Cherizier is accused of committing acts that undermine the peace, security, and stability of Haiti, including orchestrating serious human rights violations, according to the Canadian government. The gang leaders work in concert with influential members of the government, political class, and private sector, according to the list made public by the Canadian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. While Canada has made public a list of some 30 people, the United States has so far kept secret the majority of those involved in criminal activities in Haiti. Only a few names on the U.S. list are known to the general public. Several personalities on the Canadian list have claimed their innocence, arguing that the Canadian authorities are seeking to assassinate their character. It is important to note that no legal action has been taken by the Haitian government. The UN Security Council Committee is responsible for constantly reviewing and updating the list of designated individuals and entities. This ongoing process ensures that the sanctions regime remains relevant and effective in countering new threats. As new actors are identified, they will be added to the sanctions list, and prohibitions will automatically apply under Canadian law, states the Canadian government's website on foreign personality sanctions. Sanctions are likely to have significant economic and social repercussions on the targeted individuals and entities.
By freezing assets and restricting access to resources, sanctions aim to disrupt the operations of those who contribute to Haiti's instability. This in turn should create a more secure environment, paving the way for political and economic reform.